All right, so what we're going to do today is we're going to construct a parallel line. So we've ha we have our line L here that we're given, and I want to draw or construct a line parallel to it somewhere up here. First thing we need to do is we need to put a point up here as our reference point. And so let's go ahead and do that, and we will label that and call it point P. So I'm going to put point P up here somewhere, and let me use a different color. We'll put point P right here, and... I want to place a point down here and we'll just call this one point X. So the first thing we want to do is we want to connect P to X with our straight edge. So let's go ahead and make this connection, taking out a straight edge and I will do this in a red color and we'll connect from point P to point X and you want to make it rather lengthy because you're going to be drawing some arcs in here, right in here and right in here because the process involves using the parallel postulate to construct corresponding angles. And the corresponding angles will be congruent, so our lines will be parallel. So we've got point X, point P. Let's go ahead and also label this as line M. And we've got our labels right here. So now I want to take my compass, and I'm going to put the pivot point at X. Let me rotate this around a little bit. I'm going to put the pivot point at X, and I'm going to draw an arc. It doesn't matter what size the arc is, but you don't need it too large. So I'll, I'll just go right in here, and on this arc, I'm going to construct it right there. And I'm going to use that same exact arc length right now, that same exact distance, and don't change the radius. We're going to keep it like that, and we are going to construct that. So I shouldn't have said arc length because those are the arc lengths. But basically we're, we did not open the compass at all. We constructed this arc right here and then went through same radius constructed that arc right in there. Alright, so now let's label some points here. So I'm going to go ahead and label this as point A. I'm going to label this as point B and I will label this as point C. Now, the key to this construction is to find the distance from this A to B. If I can get this distance and create that same distance right in here, I will have made corresponding angles. So let's take our compass. We're going to place the pivot point at B, and I'm going to change this so that I get that A distance from B to A. Let me rotate this just a little bit. The more precise you are here and drawing these arcs, the better your parallel lines will look. Um, either way, if you follow the steps, you're making parallel lines, but the better they will appear to look. So I found this distance, and I'm going to take my compass, and I'm going to put it at C, which gives me that same distance I'm looking for from B to A. And I will go ahead and draw this tick mark, construct this tick mark in here, and I am, what I have just done, oops, get the compass to behave for me, what, what I have just done is made that intersection point. And let's go ahead and label some points here. We're going to go ahead and label this intersection point Y, and I will construct now using my straight edge a segment from P to Y, and it will be parallel to line L. So let's go ahead and do that. And here is, again, how accurate you were in those measurements is how good and precise and parallel your line will appear to be. I'm going to go from P to Y, and that looks pretty parallel. So that is my parallel line. So let me go ahead now and show you all these steps again. I'll put them here on the side so that you can re reference them. So here are the steps, step by step, as to what I did with the points that we see and the construction. So hopefully this helps, and happy constructing.